Welcome back, let's look at 1D Array. For this video, you'll be learning what is an array and what are the associated technical terms, how to write pseudocode for one dimensional, which is 1D Array, as well as an array of records. So first of all, what is an array? An array is a data structure containing several elements of the same data type. So if you look at the blue box on the right here, just imagine that this blue box is an array and all these gray boxes here are the elements inside this array. The position of each element in an array is identified using the arrays index. So for those of you who doesn't know what index is in this context, just take index as the pointer or the location. The index of first element in an array is the lower bound and the index of the last element is the upper bound. Arrays can be one-dimensional or multi-dimensional such as one-dimensional which is 1D array, two-dimensional which is 2D array, and we have 3D array, 4D array, and etc. Now let's look at 1D array. 1D array can also be known as a list. For example, the picture on the right here show a list with five elements and a lower bound of zero. So this is a lower bound here and upper bound of four. So this last element here is the upper bound of this array. When a 1D array is declared in pseudocode, the lower bound which is LB and the upper bound which is UB and data type are always included. And let's look at the syntax. For example here, declare identifier. So this is the array name, array lb colon ub bracket of data type. So this is how you declare a 1D array. You put the name, which is the identifier. You put the lower bound, you put the upper bound as well as the data type. So for you to understand better, let's look at one example. Let's create this array on the right here. In order to create this array, we will be declaring my list array 0, 4 means the index starts from 0 and ends at 4 of integer, which means that this array will have 5 elements 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is how we can declare the array on the right here. And next, after creating the empty array, we have to assign value to each element in an array. So how do you assign a value to an array? It's actually quite simple. So what you do is that my list bracket 4 is equal to 58. So what we do here is that we will just put the name first, which is my list here. And then we will just put the index. My list is the name of the array and four is the index. So we'll be pointing to this last element here. And this arrow is the assignment symbol. And this is the 58, which is the number here. Therefore, this is how we can assign a value to an element inside the array. Therefore, for this example, definitely we have to put like my list bracket zero is equal to 19, my list bracket one is equal to 25 and etc. in order to produce this array. Lastly, let's look at an array of records. So what is an array of records? Which means that instead of element, we are putting records inside the array. Considering the employee type record structure on the right here, we can actually do something like this in order to put all the records into the array. So the first step is we have to create an array. So how do you create the array? So first of all, declare employee. So this is the array name, array, lower bound, upper bound, zero to 1000 means that we have 1001 element inside this array of employee type. So instead of integer, we are just putting this record type, which is employee type here. And next, data can be written to array using employee zero dot employee number is equal to one, two, four, five, five, which means that this zero actually stands for the first element inside the array dot employee number, which means that this is one of the identifier inside the record structure. So let's look at this. Where is employee number? So employee number is a integer data type. Therefore, we'll assign an integer value here. So this is how you can assign the employee number of the first element inside the array. And next, employee0.name is equal to Tom. So as usual, this is the first element of the array and dot name. So let's look at name. So name is a string. Therefore, we'll assign a string, which is Tom here. And finally, data can be read as follow. So this employee number is equal to employee0, the first element of the array dot employee number. And next, this name is equal to employee0.name. So this is how you can read and write within an array. I hope you learned something new from this video on 1D Array. Definitely give my video a thumbs up, leave your comment, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and I will see you again then. Bye-bye.